promise I ain't never gonna leave. Top dog up on the pedigree. I'm just one of the rarest human beings. I promise I'm always gonna be me. Ain't a single person been able to stop me. So just stop for a second and look at what I see. Laughter, anger, and everything in between. All these emotions just play a part in why you don't succeed. Trust in me, understand everything I spit is facts. Just believe in your be driving in that Cadillac. Grab some trees, burn that weed. Wasn't really sure if I was gonna make a video today. Well, like, just be whatever. Uh, fortunate event. I'm stranded. Um, that's all I know. I was cruising on the road, and I lost all my transmission fluid, and the car just stopped shifting. And it couldn't really do nothing. It was basically acting like it was a neutral the whole time and that was that so I am waiting on my dad to get over here with the jack I'm gonna hope it fits underneath the car with it being lowered kind of in a shitty spot right now too so we're gonna find out um, if I can figure out what's wrong with it and then I can go from there um, I'm damn sure not getting this fixed today I don't think um, a lot of people are telling me to get it towed to the house and all that, honestly. It's in a fine spot. Nothing's going to be going on here until the second Saturday of next month. So I'm actually okay. I like to leave the car here. It's just more of like a, I don't want to leave it and whatnot. And yeah, that is where we are. So let's find out what happens. Hopefully tomorrow. Alright, so... I'm waiting still. I got King's Vision on his way down here. My dad just left. We just checked it out. He's going on an anniversary date with my mom, so I didn't want him to stay and help me. Um, now, I checked it out. I need a transmission pan because there's a fat hole in mine. I'm going to post a video so y'all can see. It's going to be of me actually taking a video so I can see how many bolts are in the uh, pan. But you guys should be able to see the hole. I'll even cut the clip so you don't have to watch the whole thing. But I'm going to insert that for you guys real fast. Let's do a second video just to be safe. Alright. And uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. So, one thing I can think of is Pueblo has really, really, really bad roads. And at some point, I maybe just weakened it and it maybe just got too hot and then it just bust through. Because, I mean, I'm on one of the smoothest roads Pueblo has to offer. And I was going 52 miles an hour. I know, bro. The first time they put the FRS up. <laughs> it scared the fuck out of you? Yeah. I was... <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, but she looked good. She's confused, she don't know what to do. She's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, <laughs> like, she's confused as shit, bro. He's like, get another board, bitch. <laughs> so we got all this off, all the way across. Shift console fucking thing. Vents from the old one. So I'm gonna try to get all this put on. This is gonna get done white today. Maybe this. This is all gonna be white. I'll get this off later and do that. That'll be white. Yeah. See, I was just doing these, painting these white. They were black. This one came out good. This one came out really good, but I got a fucking drip spot right there on that doing this one right now I just put the first coat on just little touch base and then yeah all right so I still got the blue right here and the blue on that side over there but I got this one done all the way across this one and now this one um, I want to try to get these off and do these white as well that one on that side um, but yeah guys I don't really know we're gonna see I gotta talk to you guys though about the transmission situations. All right, 
so got a little colder there um yeah i'm officially out of commission for the time being which unfortunately really 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 sucks because there was a couple of races to open up the season a couple days ago or yesterday or so and i wanted to take this against a couple people that i have planned to go up against didn't get to um so we have got to get this car going uh again asap now i'm not really an oem type of person i've never been oem i don't like it i don't care i'm not one of those people that like if it's oem it's probably better for the car blah 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 not when it comes to the transmission for the chevy impala um and the reason i say that is because the transmissions for these cars are dog shit okay like they are so bad they're terrible and i uh i found uh monster transmissions they're located in florida i'll put their stuff down below so you guys can find them um now mind you the transmission that they will fully build for me would be up to 600 horses that it would hold which is going to be good because I got a lot of plans to do still to this car. And 600, that's a good number. Um, and I, uh, I don't even know. Um, they'll take my old core for 500 once I give them this, uh, once they get the other one uh, down here and I get the other one off. And then they'll give me 500 for the one I took off my shot one, my shot shiny. And then I, uh, it's what I believe thirty three hundred dollars or so. So it'd be like twenty seven or so after the core gets sent back to them. Um. Now, I still don't know how this happened. I I mean I think about it every day. I come home. I walk outside. I like open my eyes. Just anything. Every like second, I'm trying to figure out how and where it happened. So, so I can avoid that place again later because I'm not trying to go spend three grand on transmission, get it, go cruise around, and then some other bullshit happen. I don't need it. Now, given I know the transmission only really went out because I lost all my fluid because of that incident with the hole in the tranny pan, and I knew it did its damage, it just sucks that it happened so quickly after me just buying the car i mean i've had the car for what maybe three weeks now and i probably had it a little bit longer than that but i mean it's just mind-boggling to me like i spent a good chunk on the car for no problems and the problems that i have are not giving me problems isn't that the weird part right like uh man so I don't know. Um, I got a lot of stuff I gotta do to this car still, like a list of things that I have to get. Or I'm gonna be a new battery. I'm gonna need a new battery. I need to get a new alternator. I I like to do those together. Maybe we'll do a starter with it and just do all three. The transmission. That's I have to <laughs> if I want to go drive around. Um, and then uh, let's see. I need a rear strut bar for the left. Uh, the rear left strut bar. Don't even know how that happened. Um, it's been like that since I bought it. Um, I need some GPS sensors for the tires. I need to get a motor for my unlock and lock right here on the driver's side. I need to get a um, an actuator. Uh, you, some of you guys might know what that is. I haven't never actually dealt with that problem. Pretty simple though. Open the glove compartment, replace it. Um, then after that, honestly, the car will be pretty good. And then it'll start going down to getting new tires, getting new rims, getting them powder coated, getting brake calipers, custom, custom rotors. You know, I'm getting all, I'm getting everything done on this car. Like there will be, I already got the custom uh, interior. And this isn't even close to done. We got a lot to do. Um, and I mean a lot to do. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick little update. I might not be posting for a little bit. If I do, it's probably not going to be of this car. It'll maybe just be a little bit about what's going on. Um, and yeah, I mean, since the car's not moving, I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of interior work. 
because the car is going to be white and black. So I'm making the inside white because this interior is black all the way around. I mean, everywhere. So all this white and the two little blue that you've seen is the only color on the interior besides that blue right there. This car is fully black on the inside. Um, Got to make it a little bit live and like liven up in here a little bit. Liven up the party, right? So, uh, yeah, that's that. I um, I kind of want to get out of here because I, every time I sit in this car, I just want to start it up, listen to that big old rumble and start driving. I don't get that opportunity right now, and I don't want to start it and just risk anything else. Like, I, the engine's fine. We want the engine to stay fine. We already need a tranny. I'm not trying to replace the whole fucking engine bay entirely. So, let's go ahead and call this a day, and I'll probably see you guys next week. Um, also, it is my daughter's birthday today. If, it, if this post today, April 3rd. It is my daughter's birthday today. She will be four years old. Uh, that princess is getting so big. Like, dude, you guys, I, man, I don't even know how to talk. Like, when it comes to my kid, I'm genuinely just all smiles. She just makes me, like, the proudest parent I can be. And it's, she's got a biggest heart, bro, for how big she is. I mean, you crying, she'll come up to you and ask you if you're okay. She'll give you a little hug. Now, mind you, she's still a kid, so she'll go like, mm, and run off and go play. And then be like, come here, come here, come here, come look at my Barbie, Dad. You know, but it's cute. It's, those are the moments I look for. Unfortunately, I do not have her today. She's with her mom. So I'm going to spend the day today. I'm um, trying to do a little bit more research on trying to get this thing going and then setting up some plans for my daughter's birthday. Um, I'm bringing Blippi to come see her. Bringing Blippi. I'm going to be Blippi. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get that stuff going. Ain't so picky, doing this while moving swiftly. Ain't it trippy? Like a hippie, Rick and Morty, get it swifty. Don't get bitchy, you'll be history. Scooby do another mystery. Everyone gather around and see just how your boy gets down. Now you know I'm doing this and doing that. I'm